let us now continue the multi lines option over here in the component we have lines as well as start cap end cap and joints let us see what these options refer to i am introducing a few more lines over here and let us specify the offset distances as 20 10 0 -10 and -20 in this way and about the styling let us remove the style option over here over here as well for this particular thing the weight is one the color and the style let the style be similar to an axis line okay now let us close this and draw a figure over here this is the multi line which we get now the same multi line you can even draw it by having caps that is when you click on start cap option you will be getting a cap over here that is an arc over here start cap outer arc and inner arc you have a cap that is this arc present over here when you remove these two you will only be getting this region this normal line remove this and you won't even get this normal line okay go with end cap remove this line option close it and now when you draw this line you won't have any caps over here neither the line nor the arcs go with element multi lines and select line outer arc and inner arc for the end cap as well as line sorry for the start cap select all of it close it and now you can draw one more multi line over here and see the difference now i'll go back to element multi lines and this option color from segment implies that when you go with the lines option over here if suppose the 20 offset line you are specifying a particular color over here say yellow and minus 20 again go with yellow color for the inner arc let me choose this color number 5 that is the magneta color can see the differences over here when you click on start cap and check this option color from segment it will be colored from the segments that is from these lines these colors will follow on the caps as well again for end cap i'll select color from segment and this will get colored as well go with close and now i'll draw one more multi line over here and you can see the difference that is your multi line option apart from all these you also have a fill color option let me choose fill color and when i go with the zero color over here close this and now when you draw this you'll be getting a color filled over here in the multi line okay those are all the options that are present in your multi lines tool let me close this and let us stop the linear elements over here now next i'll go over here select everything select all hit delete on your keyboard all right and now let us see how to dimension a particular drawing suppose you have drawn a line over here of distance right now i cannot see my acute draw so i can turn it on by clicking on this icon toggle acute draw on and now in place smart line option i can toggle between this acute draw window and the sub options of place smart line by hitting my escape button on the keyboard it will toggle toggle from place smart line window to acute draw window hit escape it will come back over here and you can enter the values over here hit escape again and you'll come back to your acute draw in this way anyway so now i need to draw lines over here say so i want to draw it from here a distance of 100 enter and left click now this is the 100 unit line let me zoom in towards that right this is the 100 unit line 
होल्ड ऑन योर शिफ्ट की लेफ्ट मार्क बटन एंड आई एम मूविंग इट डाउनवर्ड्स इन दिस ओके सो वर्टिकली इन दिस डायरेक्शन आई गो फिफ्टी एंटर लेफ्ट क्लिक इन दिस डायरेक्शन अगेन हंड्रेड एंटर एंड लेफ्ट क्लिक यू कैन गो विथ क्लिकिंग ऑन दिस आईकन राइट नाउ वेन यू वॉन्ट टू डायमेंशन दिस यू हैव दिस डायमेंशन एलिमेंट ऑप्शन ओवर हियर now you have the rectangle i'll click on dimension element in this there are number of sub options let us first check out this one dimension element you can directly click on this rectangle and you get the dimension in this way right now the dimension is too big that is the dimension text size as well as the arrow sizes is too big what i'll do is i'll delete this and we'll create the dimension this time by changing the values i go to element select the dimensions option and over here in the dimension settings dialog box you have the text option select the text option and in text go with height and width lock it that is both of them should be proportionate if this is one this will become one if this is two this will become two as well so go with 5 and 5 over here close it now let us dimension it and you can see that the dimensioning has been proper it is in proportion to your drawing now here i can select the same option dimension element click on any edge and the dimension will be displayed over here right now again you are getting this length as 50.0000 four zeros after the decimal if you want to change this go back to element say dimensions and in the units option currently the accuracy has been set to 0.1234 but usually we go for an accuracy of two decimals so sorry two digits after the decimal select this go with 0.12 only and close it now when i draw the dimensions say i'll choose this figure go over here select this length over here i can delete the existing dimensions in this way we can specify the dimensions now when you select the dimension option directly you can get the dimension settings dialog box by clicking on this magnifying glass click on this and you get this dimension settings dialog box select text you can change this you can select units you can change this for so now close this and now suppose you want to draw an incline line you select place mark line option instead of specifying the x and y coordinates i can also specify the length and angle in your acute draw hit your space button on the keyboard hit your space button and the method of entry method of input changes from xy system to now distance and angle system if you hit again space you will be getting the x and y values hit space again it changes the mode to distance and angle so now i'll enter the distance as some 100 enter and the angle i want to keep it as 45 degrees enter and left click right again you can start over here and horizontally some distance now after drawing this line i can select the same option dimension elements and this time when i click on this line i'll be getting the horizontal so either vertical or the horizontal distance the distance between the start point and end point either horizontally or vertically if i want the true length that is the length aligned to that line instead of the view option over here select true click on true and now you will be getting the true dimension over here place it and it is placed over here in this way you will be getting the true dimension that is the true length of the line for now we will be using this option that is the dimension element option throughout our drawings whenever you are to dimension drawings of this sort you can select the same option if you want to change the text height you can go with the dimension settings option in this way you can create these drawings and dimension them for inclined lines you will be going with the true option stop the session over here